Hello there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading. So when I was meditating on this month's reading for you, you have some uh, two very beautiful images. So the first image that I saw was, it's like a Mediterranean garden, okay? So there's like, um, there are olive trees, there are a lot of um, fruit trees, and also citrus trees, fruit trees, olive trees, and a lot of flowers in this garden. There's a big fountain, and there's a peacock, a male peacock. Um, he's just minding his own business. He's like pecking at the ground, pecking at the uh, blueberry trees. And um, he's just, you know, in the garden, very, very content. All of a sudden, he stops pecking. He sees something. So we're, we're not seeing things from his perspective. We're looking at him. He sees something. And that's when, like, he starts kind of, like, moving his tail feathers a little bit. Just to kind of, like, in preparation for spreading the tail feather. And um, peacocks do this dance to entice their um, potential mate, okay? So I definitely see him looking at something and like really eyeing something or, or really wanting to go after something and then the tail feathers start spreading out and you see the male peacock in all his glory, okay? So like, that's what I'm, I'm seeing. And the message that I got when I saw this was, it's a mating ritual, it's a mating dance. And it's funny because we're shifting into the spring season, so you know, People say like love is in the air. I feel like there's this energy here about either somebody doing this to you, they're looking at you and they're sh kind of like um, showing off just to let you know that they're interested or trying to get your attention. You yourself could be doing this to somebody, showing off, trying to get their attention. But either way, it's done in a very flashy manner. Okay, It's done in a very like no nonsense let's do this, um, you know, I want you type of a way where the intentions and the actions are very, 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 very clear. There's no ifs or buts about it. There's no um, ambiguity about a situation. So you're either doing this with somebody and with Torian people in general, um, you guys are very, very clear when you like somebody. And uh, I feel like, or somebody, if they have been... Um, if they have been confusing to you, hard to decipher, hard to read, if you have a lot of like questions about their motives, I feel like things are going to be crystal clear, intentions are going to be crystal clear, and, and I, I definitely feel there's an upping the ante, like let's do this, let's get this moving. Uh, I'm showing you my cards, I'm showing you my intentions, okay, so it, it looks really beautiful. Um, you're definitely in a safe environment because, like I said, it's a very uh, warm Mediterranean type of a climate, okay? And it's almost like the Garden of Eden where everything is very pure, innocent, um, bathed in sunlight and warmth. So I definitely feel like you're dealing with someone who's very warm, who's very generous, who's also, you know, they're in an environment where they're showing their intentions, okay? So you're not de dealing with anyone who's duplicitous, okay? Um, the second image that I saw was, uh, I see this little boat, tiny little boat, houses one person, there's a woman on the boat. She's young, she doesn't seem, t she's very young. So I, I would say maybe like a young woman, like even, uh, not even past the age of 25. Um, she's in her swimsuit and she's out in the boat, boat and she's fishing. So it looks to me like uh, the ocean. But the, the water is like crystal clear. You can see to the bottom of this water. Um, I don't know if it's a, a big lake or if it's the ocean, but I feel like it's the ocean. But it's very clear water and you can see the corals and the, the, uh, the fish, okay? Um, she's fishing, so she's just like, you know, having fun there by herself. She sees something sparkling down beneath the water all the way at the bottom of this ocean so it's not very uh, deep it's, it's still a little bit shallow um, so she sees something sparkling and she's just like I wonder what that is so she dives into the water swims to the bottom and retrieves something and she surfaces there's a ring on her finger like it's a ring with like a, a pearl or something sparkly um, I don't know if somebody might have left it there somebody might have gone swimming or gone snorkeling and then they 
uh, left it behind or they dropped it or whatever the situation might be. But either way, she found something precious because she was looking in the right place. Okay, like she just, it, it's its happenstance. Like it, she just happened to be there. She just, um, it's the right time of day when the sun was hitting the water. It's just, you know, the right environment. It just seems to me like it was the right time. And as a result of it, she found this treasure, okay? The timing had to be right. That's what it feels like to me. Um, so based on these two images, I definitely feel a very, very strong relationship vibe, a love relationship commitment vibe coming through for you guys in this month's reading. And um, what I feel, that's, well, you have three major arcana cards. Four. What I feel happening in the month of um, April, you've had a lot of success last month, okay, in the month of March. What I feel happening in the month of April is you're thrust into an environment where you are probably on full display, okay? You're really, really displaying your capabilities and really displaying your skills to the rest of the world. People are going to know what you're made of. People will want a piece of you. The people around you, they're going to want a piece of you. And Taurus, you've got nothing but Major Arcana here except this Nine of Pentacles. So, wow, this is pretty amazing. So you're on full display. People will want a piece of you. And I also feel like um, you're being pulled from behind the scenes. If you've been pulling strings behind the scenes, if you have especially been working very, very hard behind the scene, you're going to be thrust in the limelight and you're going to be in a position of prominence to be able to show other people how to do things or to be able to show and tell people, I'm seeing show and tell, how to do things the proper way. You might be training others. You might also be giving a lot of information to other people. Um, I do see a shyness that's coming into the picture, okay? So I've mentioned this before with a lot of the other earth signs that earth signs are really good um, tacticians. They are really good at problem solving. They're, they're very, very dependable, but they're more comfortable working behind the scenes, pulling the strings, putting out fires, uh, fixing things, um, easing and facilitating things. They're not ones that, um, you know, want the ho to hog the limelight and they're not ones to want to be in center stage. So I definitely feel there is a shyness and a little bit of a trepidation about you. I don't sense the Virgo in sense of trepidation where they constantly doubt if they're good enough. I feel like you guys know what you're doing. You guys know you're very, very capable. But when you communicate, you don't mince words, okay? You're very straightforward. You're very, like, um, efficient with your communication. And you communicate in, in few words, okay? You're a man of few words. So that's, like, what I'm seeing here. Um, because both of those images that I saw, there there isn't any sound, okay? It's just, like, action, very action-oriented. The, the, um, the bird minding his own business. It's not squawking. It's not making any noise. And then it, it shows its tail feathers. Like, the display is very, very action-oriented. And then the other scene, it's just a very calm, placid ocean um, environment. She dives into the water. You don't hear anything, but she comes up, and then you see this ring on her finger. Like, she's, she's got something precious, shiny, and sparkling. So everything is very action-oriented. And I feel as well... There is a shyness coming through. You're definitely on display and you're in a position where people are listening very intently to what you have to say. And you also know that the audience that you're dealing with, they're not the easiest crowd to win over. They're not, you know, uh, you're not surrounded by yes men who will tell you what you want to hear. They're going to ask you follow-up questions. They're going to want to, they're going to, they're going to want more information out of you. So this is where you have to learn and practice to be a little bit more verbose and definitely to be a little bit more like, okay, you don't seem to be getting this, so let me explain it to you another way. So if you are a little bit tied into the way that you communicate where you only have one 
way or one method of getting a message across. This is where you might need to be a little bit more flexible and to communicate in a way that so that the audience understands, so that you're not getting hit with the same questions over and over and over again. If somebody asks us the same questions like twice or three times, it means there's some type of communication issues and it, it's, there's, it could be from their end, but obviously there's some type of a cross wire, like cross communication or cross wires here where you're communicating one thing but they're understanding something else or they're not able to understand your communication style so you know that you have to adjust okay so i definitely feel this month is about being flexible being adaptable being adjustable so that you can reach out to your intended audience so having said that let me just put it this way all of these cards here are major arcana cards okay so there are 10 cards that i pulled out and seven of them are major arcana cards and they're really powerful major arcana cards. So we have here the devil. Being stuck in a situation. The Hierophant, being a little bit rigid and a little bit stubborn. The justice card, learning to compromise. The magician, independence and self-mastery. Not needing to prove anything to anybody, knowing that we've already got everything at our disposal to make the right decision or to carry out and implement some type of a project. We have the chariot, forward movement, win, like a win, a big win, or um, forward movement and progress, okay? This is a victory card here. This is a really, really big card. You have as well temperance, balancing the two sides of you being mutable being adaptable as well and then we have the emperor and this is like the pillar of stability but it's also a card that can indicate rigidity if we're not careful if we're too uh too much about you know i'm always right or the other person's always right or you know i'm i want it this way and only this way if i can't have it this way i don't want it at all so you want to be a little bit more flexible is what i'm seeing here the other three cards are minor arc arcana cards. Six of Cups. This is the childhood memory. This is also having a very strong uh, connection to another person, a very strong soul connection. We have the Ten of Cups. A very happy family, emotional, like the apex of emotional happiness. And we have the Nine of Pentacles, self-employment, as well as single, like the single life, okay? So... You've got major, major cards, really powerful energies and powerful cards that are coming into the picture. And so I feel like this is going to be a very pivotal month for many of you professionally, okay? Um, but there are other things uh, here as well. So let's start with the devil. This is a toxic environment that you're in. And I feel like for many of you, it is work-related, okay? This is sort of like once upon a time i feel like this work environment was very fulfilling i'm drawn to the star here whenever i see the star i usually think of it as like the stars were aligned we were supposed to be here for a specific amount of time like whenever this job situation came into the picture for you it was just right up your alley you were meant to be there but i feel like you have stayed there past its expiration date there's a situation here that you need to walk away from and I feel like it, it brings about comfort and stability. And you guys, earth signs are really much stickler for the familiar. But I definitely feel like the toxicity has started to emerge. And you're starting to realize as well that I'm better than this. I don't want to be in this environment anymore. And I'm trying to find my way out. You could potentially be dealing with someone who's quite controlling. They're clinging to the last, vis the last like crumbs or the last like... Um, they're clinging on to power. This is somebody that hoards power, and this is somebody that is um, on the surface. They can be, you know, like, they can come across as very capable and competent. But I feel like underneath it, they're just controlling. They want things a specific way. And I also feel like their energy clashes greatly with yours because you are also a fixed sign. But what I'm feeling with your energy, Taurus, 
is you have this sense of balance within you. Justice is about balance, give and take, doing what's best for everybody involved. Okay, even though you are stickler for tradition with the hierophant here, stickler for rules, stickler for regulations, doing things by the book, stickler for as well、um, what has been tried and true, and you have an innate sense of respect for authority. Okay, if somebody is working above you, you don't question their intentions until they prove otherwise. So I'm feeling there is a situation here where you're just like. It's supposed to be this way, and I mean, you know, you you never question them. But I feel like they're coming in, and they're showing you that they're not fair. They're not always fair. They're not always accommodating. There, there might be. I'm hearing the word cronyism, where people hire people that they know, where the people that they know get preferential treatment. Okay, so it's an environment that's not fair. It's an environment where you feel like you know I I really work my butt off I have the degrees I have the work experience, and、uh, I have everything to show for my skills and I have everything、um, to advance. But I feel like the environment itself is not fair and is not conducive to your advancement because there's somebody here that's not operating at their best. And I feel like this situation when you started, it served its purpose when you started. But now it's at a point where you are outgrowing this environment, and you're starting to realize that, and so you're starting to manifest. The magician is the manifester. You've learned a lot from this environment, so you needed to be here to build up your skills, to build up your confidence, and to like be. I, I feel like you needed to be here when you needed to be here. Because you've learned a lot, you have grown a lot. You also were privy to a lot of information, and now it's gotten to the point where it's made you believe that you know what? I need to start looking elsewhere. I need to start manifesting new things for myself, because in this environment, it seems like my skills are not properly utilized, or I'm not utilizing everything that I'm capable of. I'm not growing anymore and developing to my full potential. So I need to be Kind of like easing my way away from this. I also feel there is a work environment where there might be some type of a、um, sleuthing or some type of a legal, like breaches of legal responsibility. Somebody was supposed to do something. They might be in a position of power, and they didn't do what they were supposed to do. So now there's like some type of internal panel meeting. To discuss, like you know, what went wrong? Why did it go the way that it did? Why were you here and not there where you're supposed to be? So I feel like you're getting priv、um, privileged information regarding the situation, and I definitely feel you're very, very、um, cautious about the information that you reveal. And I also feel like you're being you're being very strategic with what information you give out. It's almost like on a need to know basis. Um, I also feel like you're you're careful about what information you put out there as well. Okay. On the one hand, you don't throw want to throw anybody under the bus, but on the other hand, you're not going to lie for anybody. I feel like you're you're going to be very straightforward, but you're going to be very strategic. And and I keep seeing this like you're a man of few words. Okay. You could you could be male or female watching this, but I feel like you know they're saying like err on the side of caution. Say. Keep your responses very short. Okay, keep your responses very short, and just make sure that you say you give them like、um, minimal information. Okay, so that that's the first thing. The other thing that I'm feeling as well is、uh, I definitely feel family interference in a relationship as well.、Um, for those of you who might be married. I feel like you've been married for a really long time. We have here the Six of Cups, and this is also somebody that you feel you know might have been your soulmate at one point. We have the Justice card, so there's talks. I'm seeing people meeting their lawyers, meeting their attorneys, meeting like、um, a, even a marriage counselor as well. So there's something being fixed. There's something that's being worked on. And I feel like it's gone to this point because somebody was very very rigid. And they didn't want to change, and they thought like I'm not the problem. The other person's the problem, 
whereas the other person is like, I'm not the problem. You know, my spouse is the problem. So I feel this bickering back and forth between two people in a relationship. And the relationship, I feel like there might be talks or conversation already about, you know, separation or divorce. And I feel like, you know, children are also being, the children might be having these hush-hush conversation because they're aware of what the adults are about to do. And then I'm also feeling like the parents are also involved here. The, the emperor is usually like a parental figure. And then I'm also seeing with the hierophant, this is a family institution, okay? So I definitely feel like it's a situation where where the parents of the the couple are also involved and they might have also interfered. And I also feel like tradition, family expectations might be keeping two people together who might want to separate. Or they might be imposing on the free will of the couple to do things a specific way, to raise their children a specific way. And there might even be religious, cultural, family factors kind of uh, weighing on this decision when the decision honestly should be made between the couple. So I'm seeing a lot of restrictions as well. And, and I'm also seeing you don't feel like you're free to act the way that you want. but. I don't feel there's anything really holding you back. And I feel like your mind is made up to sever the relationship here with the devil because your mind is coming in very, very strong with the emperor and you're very strategic and you're very, very stubborn in the ways that you want to do things. But stubbornness as well, stubbornness just for the sake of stubbornness is not a smart way to go. And I feel like you're starting to realize that, but you could also be dealing with somebody who is like this and there's a stalemate here but there's also a lot of interference and there's also a lot of family cultural uh, expectations as well that's keeping a situation very stagnant and very very stuck and you know that it's not conducive for your further growth and development and so you are definitely moving away from it i see you severing this type of a connection okay we have here the chariot which is you moving forward and we have the Ten of Cups, traveling, moving forward, contemplation about taking a trip, reuniting with another person here with the Ten of Cups. And I have the Magician trying to manifest this. All the prerequisites are on the table, all the pre prerequisite conditions, the ideal conditions has finally come into the picture for you. If you have been waiting for the stars to align, if you have been waiting for the situation to kind of like work itself together, you definitely have the right preconditions for you to make this big transition to create the happiness and the life that you're looking for or you've always dreamed of, okay? So I definitely see you trying to manifest things, trying to bring something into the picture. If you have been in a toxic environment, I feel like you're breaking yourself free some of you could be emerging in the month of April, single, loving your life, having a lot of financial stability and financial resources at your disposal as well, where you are moving away from the situation. So whatever situation that the devil represents, it's like staying with the devil that you know or clinging on to or sticking to a, a safe environment or something that is familiar or something that is very stable that can also be very very stagnant but i feel like you didn't see it as stagnant or unhealthy in the past but you have started to see this process gradually within the past i want to say within the past two years for whatever reason i'm i'm feeling like within the past two years you might have realized that the situation might not have been good for me and I was deluding myself. I was thinking, you know, it's safe, it's stable, but now I'm realizing that it's stagnant because you are coming into this sense of your own empowerment. We have that snake that's swallowing its tail. It indicates to me transformation, things closing the loop, things coming full circle, coming to awareness of our own sense, of our own mastery of our own lives, okay? Taking accountability, being able to be in a situation where all the tools are there, we need to make the most of it. And so I definitely see a major shift here from a 
an unhealthy situation where somebody was controlling or somebody was unwilling to change, moving forward away from that into a new environment that will be your happily ever after, okay? Um, I'm seeing for many of you, especially for those who are single, there's a major commitment coming to coming into the picture. I have a very strong water sign vibe, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. A really, really strong, loving, very like uh, emotionally strong, loving, resilient person that you might be falling in love with, okay? Um, I'm also seeing as well, for those of you who have been single and like for, single for quite some time because you've gotten out of a divorce, you've been separated. I feel like this is the month where you're just like, I'm really enjoying my singlehood, okay? And then I also feel a change in relationship status for many of you because you've met somebody. Somebody is really bringing a different perspective in your life. Once upon a time, you thought love was like this, six of cups, naivety. This is like puppy love. This is like, you know, the, the infatuation being attracted to somebody. It's a very innocent, childlike type of a love, okay? But now we're transitioning from the Six of Cups into the Nine of, uh, I'm sorry, into the Ten of Cups. This is the whole package. I feel like you've met somebody who is a whole package for you. They fulfill you. Like, not only are you attracted to them, you're also spiritually growing when you're with them. When you interact with them, they bring a new perspective into your life. And they're really stretching your capability to love, to sacrifice, and to care for another person. But I'm also feeling with this Ten of Cups, it indicates like the, the family completion. Um, I'm also seeing you loving somebody. I, I keep seeing this rainbow. This rainbow, whenever I see it on, on a card, it indicates to me inclusivity, okay? Like um, being inclusive. And so you might be dealing with someone who's very, very different from you. I'm seeing a partner that is very uh, exotic looking, you know, darker hair, darker eyes, darker skin complexion, more Mediterranean um, ancestry, or even somebody who's just very different from, from your usual go-to or your usual type or the, the types of person that you're normally attracted to. So I'm feeling like it might be for some of you, um, they're so different that it might create like cultural, you know, there, there might be some cultural issues. There might be even linguistic issue like language barriers. There might also be cultural expectation, religious factors as well. So I'm feeling like there's definitely some, if it was like an oracle, like a love oracle card, it would say like religious factors, something is affecting your love life, right? Um, that's what it feels like to me. So you're dealing with someone who's very, very different from your usual type. And you're dealing with someone without rhyme or reason. You're just very attracted to them. And they bring a different perspective into your life. Um, it's almost like you've been wanting to free yourself for a very long time. And with this magician card, whoever that person is, they're bringing the rest of the tools required in your toolkit in order to make things possible. And there has been a lot of forward movement and progression in other areas of your life. And it's gotten you to the point where you're just like, I'm not afraid of change anymore. I'm ready for change because a lot of changes were happening regardless uh, of whether or not, you know, I, I put my foot down. I feel like you have been dealing with a lot of major, major changes since 2015. I'm getting that here with this hair higher front. And now we're moving into 2019 with the justice card things are balancing out and with the chariot there has been a lot of forward movement for you a lot of changes as well and I feel like in the past you might have been a fearful of change but now this is the month where you start to embrace new energy new changes coming in and you also realize that changes allows things to be interesting, allows us to grow and allows us to kind of like put ourselves in a new environment so that we could live and, and develop to our full potential. And so I definitely feel there's somebody in the picture that has been very instrumental, allowing you to see the trajectory of your life and allowing you the toolkit to kind of move forward. Okay, so you have a lot of major arcana cards here. And when the major arcana cards come in, 
it's definitely pointing you towards the fact that you know you're headed down the right path and this is going to be a very instrumental month for you like years from now you're going to look back at the month of april and you're just going to be like i made a lot of changes i made a lot of um i, I made very solid strides in my professional life this is the month where i felt very capable where my self-esteem is at its fullest where i was able to communicate very clearly and and you know um concisely to the people around me where i was seen by the people in positions of power you know supervisors manager whoever you answer to even your constituents even your audience for those who might be in the public eye where i was able to communicate in a way where people understood me and people and i was able to persuade people and convince people for them to buy into what i have to say and for them to help me push projects and push things along and move things along for me so that i don't have to do it myself so i feel like there is going to be a lot of win a lot of good moments a lot of like major um it's like major breakthroughs happening for you professionally as well as in relationship we have a, a major player here that's going to be very pivotal in your romantic sector um can you show me who this person is please three cards I have here the Eight of Wands, the Strength card, as well as the Seven of Wands, so Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. There is a lot of long-distance communication between you and this person. There's possibly even travel associated with this. We have the Strength card. This is someone, like I said, they have a lot of emotional strength, inner resilience. You could be dealing with a fire sign, uh, in particular a Leo, okay? But what I'm seeing with the strength card is just somebody who, um, they don't mind getting their hands dirty, okay? They, they will fight for the things that they believe in, so their mind is very pure, and I feel like they have a very strong purpose for being in your life. And I feel like this is somebody that will fight for you, this is somebody you will fight for, this is somebody that you really admire. And um, they don't back down, they're relentless, okay? And they're really, really, really strong. And we have the seven of rods this is somebody who might be an oddball they don't really care what people think of them they fight for the things that they believe in and they don't care about who opposes them if they believe on a course of action or if they set their mind on a specific course of action they're going to follow through they're going to get dirt their hands dirty they don't need other people to fight their their battles for them they take responsibilities very seriously so i feel like this is somebody you really admire um, I, I'm seeing if there has been obstacle in your love life with a specific person that you have really strong feelings for, this is the month where you're going to fight for that relationship. And this is also the month where the partner is going to really fight for you, okay? Intentions are going to be crystal clear. You're not going to deal with confusing people. People's motives, objectives, intentions, feelings are going to be very clear. And with that certainty in mind, or at least if you're made aware of, you know, for certain how things are going to unfold or how people feel about you, that's when you feel like you can put your foot down and like really fight for a relationship or really go for a specific course of action or go for a specific type of a person. Okay, even if they're different from you, they have really ad admirable qualities. And I feel like you understand that this is a major player that is going to be coming through in your romantic life, I feel, for many of you. I hope this reading is helpful. I feel like it is very inspiring, Taurus. So, um, you know, there's lots to be done, okay? There, you're not going to be kicking up your feet and relaxing. There's uh, the, the energy is very moment, like, it's very momentous. It's very momentum-inducing. And so I feel like you have worked really, really hard, okay, since last October, I'm sensing, with this spread, since last October, you've worked really, really hard. And the reason why I say that, I feel like this Justice card here, in the time of um, Libra, okay, so the late October time frame, things have been really just uh, one after another, like, it, it keeps rolling. And I also feel like you had a lot of people that helped you along the way too. And 
I'm sensing, I'm sensing as well that what's happening here is you're accustomed to the, the quick pace. You're no longer fighting it. You're used to it at this point. So this is a continuation of that energy. Things are going to keep moving forward. But the only difference is now you're welcoming the change because you understand that it, it is actually very good for you. Okay? Best of luck with everything. I'm going to be back in about two weeks' time for your um, second half of April reading. Um, for those who are looking for a private reading, I'm no longer doing those. But I do have a link in the description box of the psychic. Her name is Bridget. She's based out of California, and uh, if you'd like to book a reading for, for yourself or for anybody that you know who needs spiritual advice or guidance, I highly recommend her. Her uh, scheduling website is in the description box below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.